made the chicken. Jelly. Today's video is going to be obviously 15 Ooh, hairstyles God. for short hair. I did back in the past 15 hairstyles with the long hair. I have a guest star today. This is my 12 year old niece, Erin. She's warming up to the camera. Warm her up, warm her up. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe. Yay, subscribe to my channel. Click the yeah. button down below. Low. Hey, <laughs> finish these other sentences, see? We're already finishing each other's sentences. Sis. <laughs> Feed the chicken. <laughs> you got lipstick. <laughs> get off. You no, love I'm being a girl. You like. Get it. King, get it. Rub your finger. Say, mkar. 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 So, we really hope you do enjoy them. Um, I think it's awesome because with short hair, you feel like you're limited, but you're really not limited on hairstyles. Because to me, it was even easier than when I did the 15 hairstyles on my long hair. Because long hair is just too much to work with. Jumping right in our first tutorial, I'm going to put the hair in two low piggy tails, just part the hair down the center, and then put it in two pigtails, and then I'm going to spray it with some texturizing spray and tease each bun. Next, I'm going to wrap each piggy tail around in a circle and take a small elastic and just tie it around twice, and you have a low space bun. So cute. I do the exact same thing to the other side, obviously. And then you can bobby pin any hairs that shoot out or the buns hang low. You can pin them up tight like I'm doing this one. And this really works great for short hair. Our next hairstyle is a super elegant one and I love it. I part the hair down the middle and twist it and just pin it with like two bobby pins. And then I do the same thing to the other side. From the right side, I twist it and then I bring it over to the left side and then I just apply two bobby pins. And then you have like two pieces of hair hanging off each side. So what you're gonna do is start tucking those hairs in randomly and pinning them. You just twist them and push them in and bobby pin them. Um, and then it turns out to be a really nice, elegant look. You just kind of play with it and make it your own, but this will be great for a wedding or bridesmaid hair, especially for short hair, Hey. Okay, this next hairstyle is a little less involved. All you take is two pieces of hair from the sides of the head and you do them in a regular braid, a fish braid, whatever type of braid you wanna do. And then you bobby pin them back and it gives you a nice pretty look and it literally took me two minutes to do this look. And for our fourth hairstyle, we're gonna play off this one. So you'll braid the two pieces of hair back and then you'll create a low ponytail. And just to clean it up, I'm gonna take a piece from the back of the ponytail and wrap it around the rubber band and then pin it. And it looks so elegant and secure and beautiful. And this hairstyle, again, it's just super easy. It takes no time, it looks beautiful. Our next hairstyle is a creative one. I just take the top of the hair and put it in a little bun, flopping the end pieces over on top of the forehead. And then I'm gonna be making faux bangs. How cute! And you don't have to commit to real bangs. So then I pin the pieces shooting off to the side and it secures the bangs. I got this little headband at Forever 21. You can add whatever headband your heart desires and then just pin the headband to the hair and it's just like bangs for the day. But you don't have to commit. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Our next hairstyle, we're gonna put the hair on a high ponytail on top of the head, and I'll show you how we take care of those hairs that are gonna fall down in the back if you have short hair. Next, I'm gonna take my Whey texturizing spray. I obviously love the stuff. And then I tease the crap out of the hair. Just go crazy, get wild, get stupid. Okay, then I take the back pieces of hair and pin them and just twist it around. The more texture and tease a hair has, the easier it is to make a bun. So I take the back hair and I do a twist which secures it from falling down and looking straggly. And then I pin all the way down the back twist and it gives like a cute, elegant, messy bun for short hair. This one's a little bit easier. I took the hair and I put it halfway up and then I teased the back of it. Teasing hair just gives it a little more texture and it's a little bit easier to work with. And then I put it in a half bun and then I take a little piece of hair hanging off the bun and wrap it around the rubber band just to clean it up a little bit and literally that is it. Just easy two second hairstyle and it's so cute for short hair. I love it. Our next one, my sister had to step in because she is the braid queen. We just put the hair halfway up and we fishtailed the pony hanging off the back. Then we're gonna do something with a fishtail. How she fishtails, she takes a piece all the way from the far left side and tucks it into the far right side and then vice versa. And she does that all the way down. If you wanna do a regular braid, if it's easier on this one for you, it will still work the same by all means. I just wanted to do a fishtail because I thought it'd be really cute. And we just secure it with a rubber band. All I do then is just tie it around and make like a little knot out of it. 
doop and then we pin it with a bobby pin and literally this is like the cutest little hairstyle but as you can see a regular braid would work like the exact same with it if you're not into the fishtail. I love it. All right, I think this one might have been my niece Erin's favorite. So I put the hair high up into tall pigtails and secure it with a tight rubber band. And then I tease the crap out of the hair. You guys know I'm all about teasing. It just, like I said, makes it stay better. And I twist the hair around. Honestly, I had to play with the bun to get it to act right. I twist around two or three times just to see if I liked it. And then I would pin it. Next, I braided the pieces falling down in the back and secured them throughout the braid with a bobby pin. And there you have space buns for short hair. And it's so freaking cute. For our next one, I had to bring the sister back in because she is like the queen of braids. Okay, let me stop singing. So what she's doing is Dutch braiding the hair to the top of the head. Um, you can French braid it to the top of the head, Dutch braid it to the top of the head, regular braid it, whatever your heart's desire. As you can see, my niece is so not enthused. <laughs> um, but before she got to the end, she just braided the hair all the way down, and then we secured it with rubber bands. So There's like a little tail. And then I gathered a little bit of her other hair with it and created a bun, and then I just secured it with a tiny a goodies elastic and pulled it through, kind of like a top knot how beautiful is this hairstyle and it really didn't take too long so our next one's going to play off our last one so we french braid the hair to the top of the head and what she's going to do is french braid the hair all the way down to the back leaving the sides of the hair out so it's going to look a little funny at first but it turns way more elegant this is a really original hairstyle just so you know i've never seen this before i was literally like inventing hairstyles as i go so i think i'm a hairstyle inventor now <laughs> I was trying to angle the camera so you guys could actually see what she's doing, but her hair is kind of dark, so it's hard to see the dimension. But she just ties it off and then takes a teasing comb and slicks the sides down and then puts it into a tight ponytail. She slicks both sides down. I know you can't see the other side. And how cute and like original is this hairstyle? It turned out really beautiful. I know I say that about every hairstyle, but I was really pleased with these. Yes, Aaron, slay the camera. Yes. For our next one, it plays off the last one as well. Her hair still French braided in the middle and we just put it in a half up, half down do. And then I put a rubber band around the piece hanging off. And then I gather the rest of the hair and tie it all together. This is gonna give kind of like a, kind of sort of like a Princess Jasmine vibe. And then to clean it up, I just take a piece of hair and wrap it around the rubber band. You don't have to have the top French braided. It just gives a little more detail if you want to. For our next one, we're gonna give like the illusion that half of her head is shaved. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of what I think it looks like. <laughs> My sister's just French braiding the hair to the side of the head as tightly as she can. You can part your hair on whatever side that you're most comfortable with parting your hair, and you'll just go straight back with your braid. Um, I'm not honestly that great at braiding hair. I just wasn't gifted that way. That's why I'm bringing in the old sister. She's so good. And then you just tie it off with a rubber band and hairspray it a little, and voila, this is like a two second hairstyle. For our next hairstyle first, you wanna pet your niece's head. No, I'm just kidding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to part out the crown of the hair. And then of course, you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back comb it, tease it, spray it with some texturizing spray to give it a little bit of a lift. And then I'm going to secure the hair in a low bun. Well, first I do a low ponytail. And then I take another rubber band, and this is the part where I just slide it into a low bun. Then I pin the sides of the bun, as well as any hairs that decide to shoot out. I'm not gonna lie, this one was a little more challenging. But in the end, was really cute. So for our last hairstyle, I take the hair on top of the head, and I secure it with a rubber band. By the way, this is our last hairstyle. Um, hello, 15 hairstyles. My poor niece's head, she was so over it. Um, comment boogie woogie if you're here till the end of the video. So what I'm gonna do is flip the hair through the ponytail, creating a topsy tail, what we called them in the 90s. Um, and then I pull it through like that. It creates like a knot-like illusion. 
It's really cute. So then my cat is playing in the background. Skills you, Lou. So then I take the second section of hair and include that ponytail that was hanging down and I do the exact same thing. I just flip it through and it creates a knot like illusion. And it is so cute. You can also finish it and secure it off, but I left it like this and I thought it was just adorable. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I love you guys to death and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Bye guys. See hate in your heart